Good afternoon, volunteers. We're uh, excited to see you for another week of training and just a little pointer in how you run your class or some suggestions on the way you can better run your class on Sunday morning. Kind of excited that summer's kind of winding to a close and, and we're getting ready for a great fall. By the way, last Sunday, Promotion Sunday, was a knock it out of the ballpark day. You guys did a fabulous job. Please keep up the good work. If there's anything that we can do for you as an office staff, please let us know. Give us a call, send us an email. We want to help you help the children and their families on Sunday morning. That brings us to this, this week's topic. It's partnering with parents. And I know you're thinking, well, we already do that. We have a, a ministry called Family Ministry that does that. Actually, partnering with parents is really up to you, the teacher. I think a lot of times we think all I have to do is come in on Sunday morning, do a great job, have a great craft, teach the Bible text, make sure that kids understand, and then leave. But actually that's where the teaching begins. It's what you say to that mom or that dad either during drop off and pick up. And that's one of the first points. First right up here, I want to encourage you, you got to get to know the child first. Ask the child questions. <laughs> Trust me, once they get to be about two years old, those kids will tell you sometimes a whole lot more than you wanted to know. All the way up to third grade, they are ready to share information with you. As you get to know the child, you're automatically going to be getting to know that parent because kids are going to be talking to you about their families. I want to encourage you to remember something. Not every family at Bellevue is that mom and dad with 2.5 kids, so to speak. God is sending lots and lots of different families here to Bellevue, and I want to encourage you to be sensitive to help meet those kids' needs as you get to know them. Talk to those parents. One of the best times to do that, as I said earlier, is during drop-off and pick-up. When that child comes to your door on Sunday, one of the best things that you can do is to greet that child at eye level. How do you do that? Well, you get out at their eye level. And you make sure you're looking at that child face to face. That, first of all, is very impressive to a parent. Also, calling that child by name is incredibly impressive to a parent. Hey, look at it this way. You've really got kind of a cheat sheet right there because most of our children should be wearing a name tag right there on their shoulder. So if you forget or you're still working on memorizing those children's names, just look at their name tag and then call them by name. After you finish greeting the child, getting them engaged into the classroom, then take a, just, just 30 seconds, 45 seconds, talk to that mom and dad. How are you doing? Are you guys having a great week? Did Erica enjoy our, our class last Sunday? Well, today, this is what we're talking about. Those quick points will help you make sure that mom and dad is comfortable with you, and then over the next few weeks, as you build a relationship, they're going to begin to open up with you. I can tell you as a, a preschool and children's minister who's been doing this for a couple of days, I've learned more things about children at the front door, at the entrance, than I ever have on a phone call or through an email because parents want that relationship with you as a teacher. So by communicating with their child first and then communicating with that parent, they're going to get comfortable with you and over the next three to seven weeks they're going to start opening up and sharing with you what they're, what, what's going on in their life. Another way you can get to know them is not just at drop off and pick up, but you can get to know parents around the church. Maybe you see them in a life group later. Maybe you're at a social event here in our church or, or maybe you're going to go through financial peace with that family. Set by them. Encourage them. Tell them, hey, I'm so-and-so's teacher, and I'm really enjoying having him or her in our class. Another way, give them a phone call. Guys, we provide for you all of that information through Touchpoint. If, if you've misplaced it or you don't know how to access it, all you have to do is call and ask. We'll be happy to get you that kind of information so that you can make a call through the week. Now, I'm not telling you you need to call every child every week. But what I am suggesting is that you begin a relationship with that child and ultimately so you can connect with that parent. Because we want to know what's going on in the life of a child. So again, that, that phone call or maybe a text message to say, hey, your child had a great time today. That's a connection point that pays huge dividends. Next, 
ask questions. Let's say that, that um, Jess had a really tough time last Sunday in your class. Maybe he was irritable, maybe he uh, didn't sit still, maybe you had to get on to him a little bit, and, and we're going to talk about classroom discipline in the days ahead. But sometimes those things happen. I've learned that from a parent's perspective, it's so good if you can approach me and say, look, uh, help me just a little bit. Last week, Jess had a tough time in our class. What can I do to make his experience better? guys?" that's going to go a long way in the mind of that parent. They're going to begin to realize that we are actually here because we love children and that we have a purpose to teach them biblical truth that's going to last for a lifetime. So again, just three or four quick suggestions that will help you as a classroom teacher make sure that you're making that connection point with that mom and or dad who's dropping off that child. I wish you the best and I'll look forward to seeing you this Sunday. Thanks.